Friday, August 18th, 2023. All the regular street cats were fed and accounted for today, just like they are every day. It seems like there are more cats on the days that I bring salmon or tuna, and I usually do that on weekends. The regular cats, about 30 that I have names for, and they all have perfect attendance, and they were all there. Those are the ones that meet me at the stairs when I first come down. They've learned to be quiet in order not to disturb the crackheads who are up being loud at that time. I hear some I used to hear the sound of butane lighters as I walked by their door on the first floor. Some of the same people are the ones who complained about me feeding the cats when they're sharing a one bedroom apartment with four or five people. They really got their priorities messed up. I saw Skippy today. He's the part hairless cat that I got neutered a few months ago, and I hadn't seen him in a while. He was all cleaned up with no cuts or bruises from fighting, and I couldn't believe how clean he was. I didn't even recognize him at first. I actually forgot his name, too. I was like, hey, you looking. He was looking at me like, it's Skippy. Skippy. Remember, you named me right around that time you had my balls cut. I was like, oh, yeah, Skippy. <clears throat> It was the uh, last of my uh, salmon tomorrow I'll bring, and I'll make it a salmon Saturday. It's the most expensive thing I feed the cats is the canned salmon. It costs about $3 per can, so I try to eat some, too, while I'm divvying it all out. I've been wearing the same Cat Lives Matter shirt for a few days now, and it's not necessarily because I'm unhygienic. I mean, that's part of the reason, but I also want to promote my Cat Lives Matter Shopify store. I lowered the price to $10 or $12 for t-shirts and hoodies, and this is what people uh, seem to actually want, the t-shirts and the hoodies, the Cat Lives Matter shirts. I could tell a thousand people to buy my book or order it from their library, but nobody will. If I tell 10 people to buy a Cat Lives Matter t-shirt, a few of them actually do. I guess people are more used to buying t-shirts online than they are buying books, but also more people use t-shirts than they do books. I woke up late today. I didn't get out of bed until 3.30 a.m., so I had to hurry up, get ready, feed the inside cats, get my basket packed for the colony, and still get down there by 4 a.m. I slept well for the first time in weeks. I, you know, went to sleep at about 7 p.m. and I got about eight hours of sleep. That's very rare for me. I had incredible dreams, none of which I remember. But for the first time in a long time, I don't need a nap today. I try to give myself a grade one to 100 every night as a way to improve my sleep. I know sleep is critical to your health and it's something I've had issues with ever since I was a kid. Most of mine and other sleep problems has to do with your sleep environment, and unless you have the money, that's sometimes out of your control. I've had to sleep in some of the hardest places that if you ever saw, you'd wonder how anyone could get any sleep there. But don't get me wrong, I love sleep and I love dreaming. It's when the mind is working at its best. And if you weren't always aware, the mind, the human brain, is the most complex thing ever discovered in the entire universe. My name is Gregory Brandt, a.k.a. Mr. G. Don't forget to get yourself a Cat Lives Matter sh shirt at the Mr. G Cat Lives Matter Shopify store from me and the Street Cats. Everybody have a great Aloha Friday.